Hey, welcome back guys. This video comes from a combination of a few things. I've received a lot of questions of why on-screen displays flicker and how to fix it. Also, I just recently did a build on a AUK210 frame and the way I wired it, if you watch the way I wired it, I did it the incorrect way. I mean, technically it's not incorrect, it does work, but it does, the on-screen display does flicker. The flickering doesn't bother me any and that's why I wired it like that. It's just easier and faster. But I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Just to give you a quick example, uh, this what you're seeing right now is the same build, same parts, same everything. The only thing that I changed is I swapped two wires around to a different location. I'm going to give you guys a few different scenarios and show you a few different ways of doing this because I understand not everyone has not all parts use the same voltages, not everyone has the same types of PDBs, so on, so on. So I'll give you a few different ways. These are the same exact parts I used in that build video, and this is how I wired it, which is technically the incorrect way. The video transmitter I use, I can power directly off the PDB, so I don't need a voltage regulator on the PDB. The video transmitter has it built in. It also kicks 5 volts back out going to the camera, and that's what I used to power the camera. And you'll see here that I ran the ground from the PDB to the video transmitter off the PDB. And then the ground coming out the video transmitter, I ran directly to the camera. And here's the correct way of doing it. Instead of running the ground from the video transmitter uh, directly to the camera, I just ran all grounds to the PDB. And this applies to everybody. It doesn't matter what parts you use, what voltages they accept, nothing matters. Just the rule of thumb is always place all grounds on the PDB, and it's that simple. It doesn't even matter what type of on-screen display you use. For example, my flight controller has a built-in on-screen display, but in a second we're going to talk about the Minim OSD Micro. But by simply placing all of my grounds on the PDB, that is what made that difference from the first video clip that you saw to the second video clip you saw. That big of a difference. Now just to switch everything up, uh, in this example we've got a video transmitter that does not have the 5 volts being kicked out that you can use to power the camera with. This camera is also rated at only 5 volts, and instead of using a P or on-screen display built into the flight controller, we're using the Minimo OSD Micro. Once again, first I'm going to show you the incorrect way of doing it. Uh, this is how many guys run it. They will power the camera with a 5 volt regulator off their PDB, their video transmitter with a 12 volt regulator. Now those parts are fine. That is not going to change. Neither is the video going in from the camera and video coming out to the video transmitter. That won't change either. The only thing that's going to change is the grounds. I have also added in, uh, you can see on the Minim OSD Micro, the power and ground wire uh, kind of going out the screen. I, that's to simulate powering it with a flight controller. I don't want to go too far into this because this is like a completely separate subject, but you can power the Minim OSD Micro or some, some other types of on-screen displays off of the flight controller because they do have those 5 volt pins. Uh, but if you're running a lot of accessories and devices off of 5 volt pins on your flight controller, you might not want to do that. If your PDB has a 5 volt regulator built in, you might as well use that just to be, it's better to be safe than sorry. And here we have the correct way of wiring it. The only thing that changed was I placed all grounds on the PDB. And I'm also powering the Minim OSD Micro off of that 5 volt regulator just to be safe. So this just goes to show that it really doesn't matter what type of setup you have, what parts you use, as long as you place all your grounds on the PDB, then this will solve your flickering problem, at least hopefully. I mean, I guess there, there is some situations where your on-screen display could be damaged or something else could be damaged or you're using incorrect voltages, or if uh, a voltage is too low, which is why I say power the uh, your, your on-screen display off of a 5 volt regulator, because if your voltage is too low, then that's going to cause flickering as well. So there's a lot of things that goes into it, but the number one cause of flickering on-screen displays is simply grounds. And just to add to what I was just saying about uh, incorrect voltages, I understand flight controllers do have 5 volt pins on them, but you definitely do not want to power a camera off of a 5 volt pin on your flight controller because uh, your the voltage is, is it's going to drop too low and it's just not going to work. You're going to have flickering. Your video might actually flicker, not just the on-screen display. So take that into consideration. Make sure everything is well powered. That wraps up for this one. Thanks for watching and I will see you again soon.